There'll be a whole bunch of bitches bump, bump, and jumping shit. Something like that. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Tanea. Hey, guys, it's me. And we're back <laughs> with an all new video. I know. I know. I know. Guys, we already know. I know. It's been a long time. It's been a long year. No, and we just start. This is really like it, this video does not have um, an agenda. <laughs> I just wanted to come and see you all before the new year. Yeah. Um, we always do one less video of the year, and I mean today is the twenty second. It's kind of early, but it's, it's been a long, long year. No, literally December. This to me, this year has been on crack. Yeah, but December. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We haven't made a video since before Thanksgiving. Mm. It's just been a lot going on. It's been a it lot has. of changes. It has been a lot of changes. It's just a lot. I was just sitting in the car. I'm working four jobs. Four. Yes. I work four jobs. I didn't even realize I was working four jobs. I'm working I four jobs on top of being a full-time parent at this point. Like, I was thinking about that the other day, and I was like, I think I'm a single mother. Like, you are. <laughs> No, but seriously, I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a single mother. You are a single mother. No, because when I pick up both, like when it's one of their late nights, like let's say Kari has a game, Kari's not done until about seven fifteen. Rex get out of the after school program at six thirty, so I pick them up by the time we get in the house at seven thirty. They both come in the house like a tornado, like. I'm hungry. So, like, let's say it's a night and I, like, cook. Like, so I'll make them something to eat. But then it's also Rex's bath night. Mm. I've been here for one of those bath nights. It's actually terrible. Sometimes I'd be, like, happy that I'm here so I can help Tiffany. Because <clears throat> it's a lot. Because, like, we don't have children who make things easy. No. No. And all of these children are... um terrible no, and they i'm are. starting to believe that it's a reflection of me and i'm not sure um it is. if i need this title of a parent but anyway so i feel like just like jumping into like highs and lows of the year, i feel like a high slash low was um my sister's car accident oh it's Lord. a lot going on in this house oh my god <laughs> I don't even know how that fell. It was the sign that's supposed to be on the daggone wall. Um, my sister's car accident has really just shook my whole life up. Mm -hmm. It shook my year up. Um, it shook my anxiety up. And um, I'm very, like, I thank God every day that she is still here. And I remember when we were waiting to see, like, her brain scans and stuff. I was just like, whatever we have to deal with, like, as long as, as, long as she makes it, God, like, please just let her make it. And I just don't think I've realized how bad things could possibly get. Like, my sister is alive and healthy, but um, she's the same. But, like, she has this thing where, like, she's, like, when she... She's always, like, had this crazy in her, but then she goes back to normal Britney. But, like, it's, like, crazy Britney. It's, it's, it's normal, normal Britney. Britney. It's no more right. normal Britney at all. Like, every now and then you see normal Britney. Every, but, yeah. At first it was, like, every now and then you see, like, a little crazy Britney. But, like, it's crazy Britney is definitely yeah. probably now. Um, and it's just really hard. It's just really stressful. It's just... Uh, it's a lot of worrying and... You know, she's fully capable of taking care of her children, but she's, just not she's the, same, not the same. And, you know, children can't understand that, you know, Bristol is nine months, so she really doesn't notice much of a difference. Yeah. But Rex, of course, he notices a difference. So, you know, I've had Rex full time since August. This is the first time that Rex has actually um, been home. Hey, what's going on? So, you know what you say? Um, we don't know if Kari has COVID, but she's in her room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang, know. I can't tweet nothing. I know. Damn. I can't tweet nothing. I'll, we actually don't have video. Yeah, you outside? Okay, I'm I'm. Oh, you out? I already didn't need to open the door. All right. Um, I'll open the front door for some moment. The front? front. Mm -hmm. How did she come through the front? I don't know. Um... So, yeah. <laughs> I said Kari has, Kari has COVID symptoms. <coughs> um, so, yeah, but I was like, I was saying this is the first time Rex has been with her. Um, 
for weeks at a time. Mm. But Rex is recovering from COVID. Mm. <sighs> Lord. Y'all, COVID is everywhere right now. That's oh, another stressful thing. Around. Like I'm really feeling like we're about to have the a... pregnant pal. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. You know that word. I'm mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. it. It's in a song too. I know. That's what I was saying. Like go ahead. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like slowness all around. Um. Like the, that's another stressful thing. Like because I mean I don't really feel like I'm around a lot of people, but. I remember when the pandemic first started, like, we were home, like, mm. nonstop. And I like, miss it, Lord! <laughs> like, nonstop. But, like, now working, like, I'm around people, like, in every job. So, that is very worrisome. So, I, I would like for my full-time job to shut back down. That would be crazy. See, let me tell you about my full-time job. My full-time job, my building just opened November the 15th. But you still have to do, like, so much stuff to get in. Like... It's not open to everybody at mm-hmm. once. Like, literally only... T- I feel like 15 people then is the max for my building. Yeah. So. Tanae, tell me what's going on with your tooth. No, I'm not. No, Why you should you because attention? when you turn, you can see it a little bit. If anybody asks me, I'll DM Tanae you. Tanae had to get a tooth pulled right in the middle of her teeth. So, she has a big Tiffany tooth. Tiffany is already right telling me. But y'all can hear it. First no, of all, that's my retainer. Before, I also have a retainer in. That's why I sound like a dildo. Before I got braces, my middle tooth looked just like hers. I had it a does big not. space. No. Yes, I did. I showed you it a picture. It doesn't look the same. It looks the same. It looks like I got in a fight. Um. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's been one of the lows slash highs of my year. I mean, I try not to complain about it too much because I'm just so thankful that she's alive. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm willing to do what I have to do, you know, to adjust to the new lifestyle. But it is very stressful. I have been worrying about my sister, my sister's whole life. Mm-hmm. Like, Brittany's constantly in something, doing something, something's mm-hmm. wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what does Brittany mean? Let's Google it. Because it, it, it has know. to be like Warrior Woman. Because... <laughs> It's just, I mean, literally, Brittany has been nonstop since, like, a teenager, like, and, like, now that she's an adult, she can do whatever she wants to, it's just worse, like, now she has these two children, and she ain't got hit by a car twice, she will go crazy and flip out when anybody, random strangers in the street, like, I'm just so thankful that she, hey! I'm so thankful that she has family because I was telling Tanea when Brittany got out the hospital, she could have been like one of those people. <laughs> and Brittany is someone who has seemed extremely sarcastic and bad at her first. Oh, this is the urban day. Shut up! <laughs> you want to get a beaten. Um... She could have been one of those people that you see outside, like, screaming and yelling and no clothes on. Hey! Y'all won't go in the cage. Um, so, yeah, that has been another reason why it's, sometimes it's hard to come to the camera. Um, mentally, I just, I have so much going on, like, and it's a mental struggle. You know, I at least sleep at night sometimes over my sister because... I'm just always worried about her and her situation. Um, so definitely in 2022, I am creating some type of healthy boundaries. Um, put, I have to put up some type of healthy boundaries because um, I worry about my sister a lot. Like, a lot. I always tell people it's like this um, invisible, umbilical cord between us. Like, when Brittany is hurting, I'm hurting. Mm. When something's going on with her, like, I feel it. Is that how you feel about your sister? No, no, I don't. She don't. <laughs> no, they probably, no. They probably feel that about me. Come on, is that how you feel so towards your the siblings? Old, what? The what Tiffany just said? Yeah, that's the you're the oldest. You the oldest? No, yeah. she's the middle. I mean, I'm the oldest to me and my brother. Oh yeah. I think that that's what they feel, but the youngest child don't feel it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta remember she's the youngest. And you a Libra, just yeah, like her. So. Youngest children live to live. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hello. Don't anything. <laughs> anything yeah. like. That's what the only child is like. It's just, you don't have anybody to yeah, worry about. I really don't have anybody, don't have to, worry anybody to worry about. Like, Which is kind of sad because it's just like when I think about it, like, 
I thank God for Nene being in her right mind, but it's like Nene has lost her mind and become like an invalid. I have nobody to help me. That's why she got me. That's why God thank sent, you, sent me to you because you needed, Nene needed another child. Yes, she did. She yes, needed she somebody did, to help step in because I don't know what type of stepping in Tanea might do. I would be buying Nene. That's all See, I know I'm, to do is to pay <laughs> money. Okay. We also I'm have Aunt Luann. Yeah, I would, but Aunt Luann's getting old. So. But she went, my, uh, Luann will wipe Nene butt to the very end. Right, but Aunt Luann is also getting old. So it's like, I can't really, how long am I going to be able to depend on that? Because Aunt Luann is also herself getting old, is what I'm trying to say. But she was born to take care of her. All right, please. Oh, my God. Now, this is a sickness. That's my mom. We're not going to ask your mother that. But anyway, <laughs> so, um, yes, but back to COVID, it is a lot going on. Like, it's really starting to get scary. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Rex is recovering from COVID. I was just on my Facebook, like I was just scrolling. It was so many people saying that they had COVID. Mm -hmm. Look, your cousin was saying that she has COVID. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, she has it too. Mm. She has it too. She got COVID. I don't know who else. Michelle, she Bootsy's was just sister. saying she has it. Yes. Oh my lord. And then Tori Kwani's um, niece was just saying that she has it when I just scrolled down. Jesus. And then like I was saying, Car she's Kari is um having COVID symptoms. It could just be a cold. But when we were just reading about that Omarion, it said it comes through like a common cold. Yeah, my boyfriend is now, he may have COVID. He doesn't know, so I'm home. It's a lot going yeah. on. Yeah. So, I hope that y'all saying, Steve, start putting the mask back on y'all. I never took mine off, but y'all better well, start diving back up. Because it is We need to order something. I, I, I constantly order. I told you I gave you money. You ain't now gonna order me none. <laughs> the, the, the cash app ain't come through. Yes, all you gotta do is tell me. Yo, I'm getting my head done tomorrow. Please. Why you ain't send the cash app? Um, so the other day at one of my jobs, we got our clients, and we did too. And um, the the one other supervisor was like, you know, I don't like the whole like New Year's resolution, but what are some things that you are like looking forward to in the new year and you're planning to like you know driving driving high driving. five i plan to be driving before, by march that's a i'm giving myself woo, a that's a close deadline we love to see it in these streets i really hope that you are and we get some weight up off me you see that you see that that's what mia's was mia's what my sister's was that she wants to be Mentally healthy and physically healthy. Mia can no longer eat dairy, so she is very. <coughs> oh my! She was like, life with no cheese. She was like, but the good thing is, is that dairy is bad for you anyway. So she was like, I need to let it go. That's probably what's wrong with me. I she said, anytime eat she eat dairy, it makes her like. I so should sick. have. I feel like I should have an allergy test Maybe. because, like, sometimes, like, I will eat something. And I feel like my stomach will be hurting for like four weeks. Like, it just take a long time to clear up. Um. Number one, my first goal of the year is to get my braces back because I did not wear my retainer and my teeth are starting to shift and I don't like that. If y'all watch my older videos, they're not going to do that because I have permanent retainers at the top and the bottom. So I won't get spaces, but my teeth are trying to like buck and do mm -hmm. all this other stuff and I don't have time for that. Um, so I, And I just... I paid the money. I want my teeth the way that I want them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I really want. I'm also thinking about getting LASIK this year, guys. Mm. Hopefully my mother will pay for it. Um, <laughs> I also, um, dang, you took my thought away. <laughs> right. Oh, as always, every year, y'all should have saw me last night. I was taking out my winter clothes. Um, <laughs> and I was just looking at these clothes that I literally put back in there every year. And I was like, why do I still have this? Oh, literally, every year, my mother buys me clothes that I cannot fit. And I hold them and I say, I'm going to lose weight next year. And me. then I say, I'm going to lose weight next year. And then when I go back, like this was last year when I was packing up the sweater. I unpacked it last night and I was like, damn, I still can't fit it. Y'all, I bought me a dress this summer because I was going to lose weight and wear it for my birthday. It's still hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> Every year the plan is to lose weight. But like I was telling Tanea, like I really be like, like I don't be in here like gorging like they on on my six hundred pound life. But I do in my mentally like I feel like I should have a dessert every night, and that's not right. I can't eat ice cream every night. No, see, it's me, not right. It's the sodas, sodas, juice, 
I love that crab. Huh? Oh, that's what they did. That birthday coming up, they've been asking. Oh, up. fried chicken, right. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and I have to stop thinking that I can eat takeout eight I times eat fried a week. Chicken almost it's every not day. right. Like I cannot live this life no more. But it's like when other things are going wrong. Get me a chicken a box. A nice chicken box will make you mm, feel happy. A chicken you know box, I mean? a half and half, a slurpee. I have to stop thinking that whenever I have a taste for something, I can just get it. It's you can't do that, Tiffany. But you know, you think you can because it's adulthood and you can do it. Right. Life. So, like, it's low key, it's emotionally eaten, but I, I can't do that this year. So, I'm hoping that I need to I also need to work it. out. And, like, mm, oh my God. <laughs> my Lord! Where Police is will make the, a video oh of this. Oh, <laughs> Lord! Where is the, um, the light bulb? <laughs> the light bulb in this place. Um, yeah. so the goal is always to lose weight, and I just want to I'm be about to wear a mask in this house. I want to be mentally um healthy as well. I feel like pretty much I am mentally healthy, but my anxiety I know my triggers, and my sister is one of my triggers, so it's like I've been triggered for like four months. Mm -hmm. I don't really, you're not Simone, you go. Healthy. You're not mentally healthy. Listen, her talking shit, she is still sneezing. <laughs> Simone said, I'm negative. Um, so yeah, those are my mm. Those are my goals for the year. Those are my um No, Simone don't. Please. Those, those we, are my are doing goals the video. for the new year. Um My number one goal is to be driving. Mm. That is what is gonna make me happy. That's gonna make me feel better. Yeah. I'm looking forward to some new Beyonce music. Um, I thought that I was going to see Adele next year, but that's not going to happen. I go from the parking lot. <laughs> I'm not even going to be in the parking lot. I'm going to be home. I, I was like, this is perfect. Our uncle lives in Vegas. We won't have to pay for a goddamn hotel. We can literally just sneak in for the weekend and come back. Nope. Y'all nope. y'all bought them up. Y'all resold them for $4,000. I don't know who y'all think y'all are, but... Hopefully they'll go back down closer to the date. They probably won't. But no, I'm definitely looking forward to Beyonce music. You know, it's a shame <coughs> when a theme song makes me excited. She did a theme song for um, Mama Tina's new uh, Facebook show that comes on tonight, actually. Mm, it's no more red tables? Maybe they want a break. <laughs> did you know that... Come on! I got up my nose. Did you know that Jada's mother was a heroin addict? No, I think we were going to say she was a lesbian. Yeah. I was like, no, yeah, that would be that. Jada Pinkett. Her, she, today is tw um, 31 years sober. I was like, I, and I saw people in the comments like, what drug was she on? And she was on heroin. Was yeah, like, she looks beautiful. Oh, she does. Um, mm. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to some Beyonce music. Hopefully she'll go on tour too, but I don't know because Omarion is all over the place. I just don't know. Um, I won't be seeing Adele, which is sad because um, we never got to review the album. We love the album. We play it. Oh yeah, every day. I love the album. I love it so much. Oh, I mean, it would be nice to have some Frank Ocean music, but you know, we get him like once every ten years. And he does a lot of singles. So, yeah. when was his last single though? I don't know. It's been a while, but yeah. Um. So yeah, that's it, guys. We just wanted to come and say hey before the new year i wanted to wish you all a happy new year and i just wanted to tell you guys that y'all know we are always here you might not see us for a month but we're right always here. coming back we're never going to desert you forever and if me and Tanea ever made the decision to leave youtube y'all will be the first to know we would definitely come and tell you we wouldn't just disappear mm -hmm. so if you don't see us just know that shit is real life is in a way i saw life is real khalees has sent us a, a screenshot and khalees don't think that we'd be ignoring you we really be busy like sometimes i mentally think i'd be responding to you and i don't but he sent us a screenshot i was i'm sorry police don't beat me up she sent me a screenshot when this was like a couple weeks ago, Khalees oh sent somebody. Okay, yeah, it was somebody that had like commented under a post, and the girl put, "I know y'all are busy, but I'm missing no measurements. I wish y'all were doing PowerPoint too, and I wish y'all had the time to entertain us more." But life, and that's true. You know, life. So I am hoping in 2022 that we can do more, um, more no measurements. And you know what, me and Tanae may be like 
moving apart, but this is going to be our studio, yeah. Nene's house. Yeah. So don't worry. This is where we're always going to come here. <laughs> we're always going to come here and record. We're always going to use her kitchen and do some no measurements. I am not doing separate Power Book uh, reviews, but Power is lit. It's the Can best show on TV. Power is the best show on TV right now, and I'm not just saying that because my friend is the writer. It's the fact. The creator. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. Insecure is good, but the last season is kind of underwhelming for me. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. I'm here to support all the black people, yep. though, so Absolutely. there's I'm that. Everybody black. Um, the light-skinned people. Make sure y'all watch the Thousand Pound Sisters. Mm. We kind of mm. looking like them right now. No, we not. <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a safe New Year's. I always get anxious for the new year. I'm always just like nervous about what the new year has to come. And I, you know what? I have to go back and watch our last video. Every year I go back and watch our very last video because we always say where we hope we are in the next year on our last video. No, I need to do nothing. <laughs> sometimes it comes true and sometimes it doesn't. I didn't say I feel like I wanted to be blonder. You might have said that. <laughs> you might. She really might have said that. I can't remember. I think so. Um, actually, I don't think we've been here since your birthday. Right. That's enough. Because I was going to say you were blonde. No, I think we was on here since you had blonde hair. Like the blonde, blonde weave. I can't remember. But y'all, you know. we're going to go. I have gifts to wrap and I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm kind of thinking, should I just wash it tonight? I don't mm. know. Why even wash it? My nose is kind of stuffy. Nene is upset. <laughs> <laughs> Kari. Wait, Kari just texted. Can you bring me something to drink? Some bottles of water, please. So that's another thing. She thinks she got delivery service because she has symptoms. She doesn't even necessarily have COVID. But anyway, we're going to go. Y'all comment. I'll comment back. And we will see y'all in the new year. Probably the second week in January, we'll come and do a video. Talk about whatever current events are going on. If this is your first time watching, Pretty sure it's not. But make sure you subscribe. We'll be here next year like with an all new video. video. No, we've done shorter. Okay. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show. We'll see y'all in 2022. My birthday is going to be 2 two twenty two. Oh, we're going to turn up. I mean, if you didn't know, now you know. There's no show like the show. We got to go. Peace out.